Anthony Mundine says his upset win over Sergei Ravchenko last night was one of the best of his career. And while he admits a dream matchup with Floyd Mayweather may not happen, Mundine says he still has three or four big fights left in him. Celebrating in Melbourne, Anthony Mundine continued to surprise, conducting his post-victory press conference at a Ligon Street cafe. I'm a rare specimen. I'm a rare species that comes along every few hundred years. Sergei Rebchenko, previously undefeated in 25 bouts and 11 years younger than Mundine, vanquished in a split decision. Mundine's retirement plans on hold, now the WBC silver light middleweight champ. How can a man, 39 years old, keep doing what he's doing, keep performing like he's performing? I told you, it's not about the age. Mundine started well. The judges had him well in front after four rounds. Oh, it's Mundine on the front nice foot work. scores nicely. But Belarusian Rabchenko landed a series of heavy body punches in the seventh. Oh, he's caught him good. That really got his yeah. attention. It was neck and neck from there on. Mundine landing combinations. Rabchenko going bigger. Oh, Mundine so he was hurt real by and he is stuck here, Anthony oh. Mundine, round number ten. Mundine hanging tough and hanging on. The power punching, the technique, the speed, the hand speed at 39 was unbelievable. Mundine wants undefeated legend Floyd Mayweather next, but admits Mayweather has earned the right to choose who he wants to fight. He probably don't think that I deserve, I've earned my right yet, which I probably haven't. Mexico's Saul Alvarez is a more likely opponent, possibly after Mundine turns 40 in May next year. Glenn Osborne, SBS World News. He demand.